back to our master duel video of Dog Matica because I'm looking at the wrong card and now I just spoiled the surprise. But it was probably in the title and or thumbnail, so whatever. Nadir Servant is at three. So of course we gotta show it off. But not only that, I just the surprise I was talking about is we threw in a little bit of branded vice deals in Dog Matica? And you may be asking, Silver Chan, but Dogmatica literally makes it so that you can't special summon from the extra deck. Well, yeah, but Branded Fusion, a card I never thought I would use, but it's at one now, so I came in at the perfect time, right? <laughs> oh, man, whatever. Branded Fusion, if this card is in your hand and you already have an extra deck monster in the graveyard or not, I only say that so that you can set a branded card with this, but if not, you can still bring out Mirror Jade very easily. And then go into your Dogmatica stuff. I show it in the replay, so don't worry about it. And uh, and we also threw in Diviner as well, so... <laughs> we could go over this one. We could go through this one. We could go through this one. So, three Diviners. Of course, if you don't know what Diviner does... Oh yeah, and if you want to get straight to the replay, go right ahead. Please enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. So, what Diviner of Herald does... If you don't know, I'm pretty sure most anyone, mo more people, let me stop. You're familiar with this card. <laughs> what she does is throw away a fairy monster. And you don't have any fairies other than her in the main deck. However, you do have a couple fairies in your extra deck. Entis, if you want to pop a monster on the field or any card. Or Arc Light, if you ever want to search out a ritual spell or monster. So that's mainly what she's used for. She's pretty good for that. Ecclesia, of course, at three, she searches any Dogmatica card. Right? Yeah. Any Dogmatica card, so she's good. Fallen of Albaz, you'll need for Branded Fusion. And then, of course, the Bysteel stuff. If you're playing Master Duel, they're everywhere. You should know what they do. Magma Hunt, Serenir, Drisworm, and Lubelian. Not the biggest Bysteel package, but I, I only put in a little bit. I feel like we don't need too many Bysteels in this deck. Although we still have Regained and Beast. So, just a small Bysteel package. Also threw in Branded Retribution because it is searchable with Albion. And I just feel like it's a pretty decent counter trap. It's also searchable. No, it's not searchable with Lubelian. Uh, But, you know, it could be good. And then we got, let's go back in the order. And now we got Dogmatica Flirt Ellis for whenever an extra deck monster is on the field. The thing is, if you do do Mirror Jade first, then you don't have to wait for your opponent to summon an extra deck monster to get a negate off. So Flirt Ellis actually benefits off us having an extra deck monster on the field already. Maximus to throw away some extra deck monsters. Your Dogmatica Rituals, they're all pretty good in their own way. Some people don't run Relic, I guess you don't have to, but she boosts the attack of your Dogmaticas and she could protect them from battle. So, it's pretty decent. White Knight can also do some, you know, throwing away Entis on their field, so he basically is a once per turn pop a monster, pop a card, damn it. And then Albazoa's kind of their boss, throws away a lot of extra deck monsters and is unaffected by them, so makes all your dogmaticas unaffected by them so he's cool your pre preps of course you're running rituals throw an extra foolish burial i you gotta do you do have to be a little careful because you cannot set and you actually do have traps in your hand now so yeah i learned this the hard way literally in this video coming up i was wondering why i could not set cards and it was because of this so my fault so be careful when you're using this or change it out for something different if you have a better card in mind Nidia Servant at three, of course. It's crazy. You throw away an extra deck monster and search a Dogmatica. It's insane. You can get a whole ritual thing. You can get White Knight and the ritual spell with that one card. It's crazy. It's basically like you searched it. Dogmatic Calamity and Macabre is your rituals, so of course you need them. And then Dogmatic Matrix, of course. It's a really good card. Have three of. And you can, if you have all of them on the field, you can use each of them once each. That's kind of crazy. So it's not a hard once per turn. So whenever you're ready to use that, infinite, staple, Dogmatica Punishment. It's a Dogmatica card. Might as well run it. And then as for the extra decks, you know, you'll know what you like to throw away. You like to throw away your Entises, your Arc Lights. But then you have some other cards here that you like to throw away, like Grandula, Dusk Dragon. That's what I should have said. Also throw in this Despian. 
because Dust Dragon could summon it, and it could have a cool effect of banishing a thing. Wait, what does it do again? <laughs> Target one, and your opponent, banish it, or special summon it to your field. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So, you, know, you could do that, or just summon a Dogmatica with this. It doesn't really matter. If you want to change this out, go right ahead. Uh, this level 12 is only here because it, have, it is a level 12 to make summoning Albazoa a little bit easier. You can replace this with any level level 12 you have. So, and then um, Titanclad is good. Summon Garura. If you throw away, you draw. And this Fossil Machine, you throw away, you pop a back row. When Pegasus could spin a card, and Psyframe could give you a card back. So, yeah, that's the deck. So, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas. And I hope you enjoyed the replay. Please enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, what a hand. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we can do, though. Oh, uh, black wings. Interesting. Summon a monster. You're gonna try to do something in the graveyard. So we're gonna use Drist Worm here. By Steel, doing By Steel things. Yeah. And then you still. Oh no. Okay. So I guess he needed that. Hopefully. So that's good. We stopped them. Okay. Two punishments though. Really. We're gonna extra foolish burial when I have punishment in my hand. So you can clearly see that later on. I was like, why can't I set cards? But now I know why. Okay, extra, extra foolish. I I felt foolish. Thing. I'm like, why can't I set? But yeah. Go throw away Entus. Because we don't need a ritual card right now. Lost Wind. Okay, that's fine. We made him trigger that. That's fine. Yo, it's kind of crazy how well uh, Bite Steals and Branded go hand in hand. I guess that makes sense. They could also search Branded stuff. But look at this. We can throw away Lubellion to make Albion. It's crazy. Have him in the graveyard for that. Wait, pause! It's crazy because, like, a good way to bring out Lubellion is to throw him out with the other one. Or just throw him out with his own effect. We could also throw him out with Brandon Fusion, which was crazy. So, yeah, I guess I got lucky because Brandon Fusion's at one. And I managed to pull it off. Haha. <laughs> so now, I will now. You, you cannot stop this. I'll be on. We're now Fuse. Albaz and Entis to make Mirror Jade. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I've seen that animation for me. And then Lubellion will take the place of Driswurm, activating his effect to get rid of your Blackwing. And then Lubellion could do his own thing. It's crazy. They actually go crazy. We haven't done a single Dogmatica thing yet. And that's just a small part of the deck, I think. Oh, you, what? You brought it right back out. I will now banish your card. I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. And Mirror Jade can then throw away Titanclad, which leads to Dogmatica plays. That's crazy. Banish that. You can have that. That's fine. Nidia Servant because it's at three of. <laughs> Had to, you know, throw that in there. This video is still about Nidia Servant for the most part. To give us White Knight. But you're like, whoa, how are we going to get the Ritual? Yeah, we got the Ritual spell. Yeah. And now we're gonna ritual by using Ambion to make the White Knight of Dogmatica. And then we're gonna battle. And destroy most of his stuff. Now during the end phase, alright, Titanclad's gonna summon Ecclesia, which then summons Flordelis, who can be activated whenever now because we have Mirror Jade. And Ambion, usually we would set that card, but we can't set, so we just added it to the hand. It's whatever. We would set this card. You're going to activate an effect, but since we have enough, we have an extra deck. Flordelis comes out. Yeah, no, this is a hand effect. You can't stop it. You just can't stop it. <laughs> Flordelis, get on the field and negate that monster. And now White Knight will not be able to do anything because they left. But hey, I think that pretty much showcased just how well that little engine I guess by steals is a lot of cards but that little engine of one branded fusion using that first to have mirror jade on the field can help out the dogmaticas you know and even all beyond on the field we were able to use that as material for white knight you know so still worked out pretty well i think it was pretty cool as long as if you're able to get an extra deck monster in the graveyard first before you bring out all beyond i think is the best case 
and without using extra foolish. That's what I'm saying. If there's another way to do that without using extra foolish, diviner's a good way. So if I had diviner there, we would have had no problems and set punishment, set retribution, and had a crazy board. So, so diviner's a good answer for that. If there is another answer, please let me know. But if not, foolish burial still, I mean, extra foolish burial still is good. You know, it just can't set. And it, though, though, these are the only traps I have too. So it was just unfortunate for this specific replay. But I guess we could just set them the next turn because we weren't gonna lose. Or with, with mirror jade on your field, you're not losing in a turn because it, it pops out. No, well, hmm, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed. That's it for the dogmatic uh, deck. So let me know what your thoughts. Let me know if you have any ideas. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. But most importantly, have a great one, y'all. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.